First battle, dog, Scott Raineri. Battle her up, battle her up. Scott Raineri, get your ass up on stage. You won the prize, fool. Hey, there he is, man. Huh? There he is. All right, huh? You ready for your opponent or what? Let's go. You been ready, dog? Hell yeah, dog. Looking like a black sideshow bob up in this thing. <laughs> All right, don't kill me up here, dog. You got Darnell from fucking, uh, My Name is Earl up in this bitch, dog. Right? You know who your opponent is, dog? Uh? I do. Motherfucking Josh. Motherfucking Coley. <laughs> Hand him the mic, dog. Hand him the mic, dog. What's up, big guy? You look like that Spongebob character, dog. <laughs> you good or what? Yeah, I'm ready. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. You look like fucking Jeffrey Dummer up here, dog. All right, you guys ready or what? Remember, there's only one row in this bitch. You cry. No, you all but then you cry. Fuckers, and that's how we're going to do it tonight. All right, there's six jokes of Pete. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? I was gonna talk about Scott clothes tonight, but I feel bad because it must be hard to only be able to shop at Baby Gap. <laughs> baby, baby Fubu. Baby Fubu. Josh, as a Marine, shouldn't basic train shouldn't basic training make you I don't know, less basic? Scott was getting up. Scott was cast in a recent pilot for the new upcoming remake of Malcolm in the Middle. They're calling it Malcolm X in the Middle. <laughs> Calm down, Boomer File. <laughs> it's your turn. That was it. Uh, Josh, is, Josh looks like a linebacker. All concussions and no wins. <laughs> Scott's who appears in the, the mirror if you like candles and say tech support three times backwards. Get him, dog! Josh looks like he says booyah whenever he roofies someone. Scott has a job as a temp. He's also a temp comic, like someone else was supposed to be up here telling funnier jokes. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it means he's not funny. Temporary. Oh. Oh. I might be shorter than you, but I'm way bigger than you. Oh. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah. Dick joke? <laughs> yes. Show that dick. 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 Scott told me he got his hair cut from an idea from a comic, but I didn't know Wanda Sykes was donating her hair to the homeless. Nice. I can't look at Josh too long. He reminds me of Elmer Fudd with Down Syndrome. Right. Scott's a virgin. He'll tell you whatever, but the truth is, no one wants to have sex with a pedophile who looks like a child and has an amazing lesbian haircut. Your grandpa says. We'll wait. Really? Okay. Too long! Too long. We need an exterminator. Go on with that. Ah, Josh. You know, 
Josh is like a dog. Can't have him around fireworks. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was six. That's it, bro. Was it? I was waiting for him to finish the joke. What was the punchline? You had a punchline? You just can't be around fireworks, dog. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> All right, that guy. <laughs> he did calories in the house. All right, yo, Kevin Mack. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, yo, starting from the right, Ernesto, who do you got? Break it down. Yo, yo this, all right. I just, uh, first of all, uh, fucking Scott. Calories. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what is this thing? Hey, hey Scott, you look, like, uh, you look like a twink Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> Damn, uh, Lenny Crackheads. <laughs> Josh's, Josh's shirt makes it look like a battle between the two meanest kids in Special Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I do like, I no do, respect for the special guys, dude. I do like how, how Scott had that one good joke and the rest of them were, I don't know what he was doing, reciting haikus or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no Yodas are called haifus. Though. But he had one good joke that, that was really bagger, the one about the roofies. Uh, oh, yeah, that was funny. The roofies that he sold them to roofie people with. Uh, so I'm going to give it to Scott for that one banger. Hell yeah, that's what for Scott Renier right there. Let's go, Scott, let's go. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Hey, if you guys don't vote for me, he's gonna shoot up the place. <laughs> you know, uh, first of all, I, I just want to say a, a happy Pride Month to Matt Gaiman and uh, Sammy Gavis Jr. He <laughs> looks like Paul Foot, dog. <laughs> My, my friends over here tell me Fat Damon, but I think that's rude. Um, yeah, I don't think Fat Damon will be wearing those shoes. But either way, you know, uh, this battle between uh, Q-Tip and the Earwax was pretty good. Uh, you know, I, I, I liked it a lot, but uh, in the end, if I had to go between uh, the cornbread white boy uh, versus the black guy who refused to pick cotton, uh, I'm gonna go with the guy who had that booyah joke, and uh, that that was pretty good. So I, I'm gonna yeah. give it to Scott. That's two for Scott Ranieri right there. Hell yeah. Um, I just love this battle between uh, GNC versus the Apple Store. That's great. I love that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like this, this battle looks like the precursor to every school shooting I've ever seen. Um, it's just like, I love, like, it's like, Buddy is a Spongebob shirt. You're going to be woke up every day this month being like, when is it going to be a straight pride parade? Like, that's the guy, that's like it from you, and, like, what is it? I'm Wait, like, he said he's not straight, though. I don't know. Wait, what? He's hella bent. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, this is my phone. But also, I was to say, like, the shoes, the shoes. Um, I want to get... It was his underwear. I want to give it to the uh, I want to give it to the booyah joke that was really good. The only thing that threw me off was like your last joke, Scott. You delivered it with probably the same amount of confidence I feel like you delivered when you try to talk to girls in high school. Like that's exactly the amount of confidence you delivered that joke. But I'm gonna give it the booyah joke is perfect. So I'm gonna give it to you for that. Hell yeah, dog. Yo, that's pretty for the guy who looks like a microphone, dog. A little microphone. <laughs> All right, yo, Kevin, who do you got for the fuck of it? Yeah, we already have the winner, but who, who did you have? I mean, this this was a great battle between two guys interviewing for a GameStop manager. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I really love that joke that child predator Gambino told. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was good, that was good. Yeah, fuck yeah, that was good. This, this actually looks like a gay trucker showed up to, the, to catch a predator house. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He's, he just looks like a gay black de decoy that's trying to get this guy hemmed up. Um, it's true, Doug. It's true. This it's honestly it. looks like a bullying incident at Silver Lake High School. Uh, you got any Silver Lakers? <laughs> Uh, but uh, I, I gotta get. I do. I also have to give it to the booyah joke, and I have to give it to the couple in the back that were uh, fucking during that. Uh, yeah. Who was it? Was it them right there? Yeah, they won. Hell yeah, dog. Hey, stand up, dude. Stand up. Stand up. Show us your hardness. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Hell 
yeah. 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 Give it up for the guy. They yeah. wanted to pretend that we didn't see it, but everybody was watching him catch tits. That guy looked hey, that guy looks like he came out straight out of Star Trek, dog. Look at him, dog. <laughs> the Beatles met the Star Trek kid, dog. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> give it up for your motherfucking winner tonight. Motherfucking stop. Hey, Mary.